Yeah, 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 so... Uh, hey, are you making fun of the bingo capital of Saunders County? Ooh, no, I'd never do that, no. Hey, just last week, Father Majeski won the Tupperware jackpot. Tupperware jackpot? He did. Ooh, bet he got a pretty big hole out of that one, yeah. Thirteen bucks and a dozen cookies. Ooh! <laughs> Yeah. Hey, I was there. So uh, tell me, Daryl, have you ever been to St. Meinrad before? Ever been here? Yeah, ever been here before. You say that as if people just kind of stroll along and happen to find this place. Well, you know, uh, you know, do you have any trouble uh, finding it? <laughs> any trouble? After my third map and directions from the cop and Ferdinand. Well, you know, uh, you know, St. Meinrad's a pretty beautiful place. Don't be knocking it, you know. It's a pretty nice uh, area. Well, it's not bad, but it's going to take some kind of homing satellite beacon to find my way back. That's well, all I know. Well, anyway, back to Wahoo. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Wahoo. Hey, Thank you. enough of that. Yeah, so uh, ladies and gentlemen, coming up later on in the show, we've got a little uh, classical, uh, classical number, uh, Hamlet or something, I don't know, is coming out. Uh, Dr. Dan Dinkle from Helsinki, I think, is going to be here, and uh, Jim Embry's coming a little later on. You know, Jason... Uh, I understand that you're into sappy love ballads. That's right. That's what I am. You're a sappy love ballad yourself. Uh, sometimes. Sometimes. So uh, what's the name of this song you're going to be playing for? It's us? called Lush Life. Lush Life. Ladies and gentlemen, Jason Shelton. <laughs> I can't do this. Excuse me? Excuse. I'm sorry, Mrs. Ford. Um, maybe he needs a but little... We need some help here. He needs a little help out here. Whoa! All the way from Istanbul, Mr. Jacques-Pierre. I... I used to visit all the very gay places, so come what may places, where one relaxes on the axis of the wheel of life to get a feel for life from jazz and cocktails. Girls I knew had sad and sullen gray faces with distinct quay traces. It used to be there you could see where it had been washed away by too many through the day. Twelve o'clock tales. Then you came along with your siren song to tempt me to madness. I thought for a while that your poignant smile was tinged with the sadness of a great love for me. I guess I was wrong. Again, I was wrong. Now life is lonely again When only last year Everything seems so sure Now life is awful again a trough full of hearts could only be hard for where's my mom raise your hand Shh. a week in Paris will he the part of it. Come on, Mom. All I care is to 
is to smile at it. Forget you, I will. While yet you are still burning inside my brain. Romance is mush stifling those who strive. I'll build a lush life in some small time, and there I'll be while I rot with the rest of the. Lives are lonely too. Yeah, ladies and gentlemen, Jacques Pierre with Jason Sheldon and Company. You're out there having fun tonight. I said, are you having fun tonight? Thank you, thank you, uh, thank you, Ken, out there. You're welcome. It's really a pleasure to be able to do this for you. Oh, uh, oh the other one. Give yourself a raise. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our, our next guest truly needs no introduction. He's literally redefined theater. Thank you, uh, Ken. Here in southern Indiana. Most of you know him as the director of the Globe Playhouse in Boonville. He's currently performing Shakespeare on the Farm here at St. Minard. It's an honor to welcome Sir Ian Shortsleeves. Let's hear it for Sir Ian. I have of late but wherefore I know not. Lost all my mirth, forgone all custom of exercises. And indeed it goes so heavily with my disposition that this goodly frame, the earth, seems to me a sterile promontory. This most excellent canopy, the air, look you, this brave overhanging firmament, this majestical roof fretted with golden fire, why, it appeareth no other thing to me than a foul and pestilent congregation of vapors. What a piece of work is a man. How noble in reason. How infinite in faculties. In form and moving, how express and admirable. In action, how like an angel. In apprehension, how like a god. The beauty of the world, the paragon of animals. And yet, to me, what is this quintessence of dust? Man delights not me. No, no, woman neither. Though by your smiling you seem to say so. Thank you. Yeah, Sir Ian uh, Shortsley. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Thank you, thank you, Sir Ian. Glad to have you on the show. No, the pleasure is all yours. Yes, yes. Um, 